Hi, I know you're thinking, Glenn, you started this channel months ago and you still haven't given us even one single video. Well, I have a dilemma. I've tested several fans already, but I don't have full t uh, full range of tests. For example, I found a guy to do the um, noise uh, dampening box for me so I can do sound tests. Unfortunately, getting him to understand what I want is apparently too hard for him, so I may end up just having to make it out of cardboard. <clears throat> I thought I had a good um, anemometer, and while it is a very good anemometer, it's not good for testing fans, so that's the, what, the fourth one I sent back. I did order two more. They're on the way right now, but I can't do airflow testing right now. All I can do is the testing that I've been doing on my uh, cooler, the U12A from Noctua, and that shows uh, that infers uh, static pressure and uh, heat coefficients, uh, the heat dissipation coefficient, that is. And <clears throat> I've confirmed that actually with three different engineers. In fact, they suggested it without me mentioning it. So I know it works, and I know that by ranking them based on the results that I get, that I'll be able to tell you which one's better than which other ones. However, it doesn't tell me the details that some people want, you know, temp, you know so I, I need to get that stuff. And in the meantime, I now have uh, 245 fans in my house and another, uh, I think, 19 on the way. And I know it's crazy. I feel a little bit crazy right now. But uh, I want to show you because I actually had to buy a shelving unit just to, to host all of my fans. So let's take a look. I just finished my inventory today. And here, yes, my voice just cracked. Here are all my fans. I've got A to Z down there. Yeah, all of these fans are going to be tested, reviewed, and shared with the public. I'm going to have it up on a database that the public can access. So you can see for yourself and make your own decisions rather than relying on me because for, for, for one thing, like I've got this ARGB fan here from Akasa, which is actually fairly strong, <clears throat> but I don't really care about RGB and ARGB and LEDs in general because fans are for performance. They're not for looks in my mind anyway. So we've got all kinds of stuff over here. There's Asia Horse, Igo, Alpha Cool, Arctic, Antec, Aero Cool, Akasa, Barrow, B Gears, Bin Fenix. Oh my God, there are so many. Fractal Design, Gelid, Delta, um, <clears throat> and um, we've got Ice Scale Thermal, and, or sorry, Ice Iceberg Thermal, my apologies. And we've got Leppa and Phobia, uh, Black Noise Noise Blockers. We've also got a whole bunch other down here. We got well, like this is all scythe over here. And then we've got all this other stuff down here. Silverstone and thermal right and thermal take. And gosh, there are so many. I can't even name all the different brands that there are. I can't even remember all the brands, but there's a lot, as you can see. This pile right here, plus these two here, are the ones that I've currently got results for. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to let you decide for me. I can release the data I have thus far on these fans, also the Corsair ML120, the Corsair SP120, the Noctua A12 uh, by 25, and the uh, Fantex T30, or I can wait until I can give you more complete data. What would you prefer? I want you to tell me what you'd like to see. Do you want me to wait until I have more results? Or do you want me to give what I can now? And then later on, when I've got the uh, Anacoach uh, box done, I can give you sound tests. And later on after that, when I've got the, um, the correct <clears throat> anemometer, I'll be able to give you airflow test results and so on and so forth. What would you like? You tell me, write it in the comments. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.